Hi everybody, if you're considering buying a Roomba 694, that's a question come to my mind. Do I need wall barrier with it or not? I think wall barrier is very useful for those who have pets at home. I used Roomba i7 before, it was different and it allows to choose keypad zoom on the map in the app. But for keypad zones with Roomba 694, you need wall barriers. Its range is 10 feet on the virtual wall mode and 2 feet range on the hollow mode. Mine says 2 feet on it, but it says 4 feet on the user manual for the hollow mode. I think there are two different versions of it, so be sure to buy it. You can make a barrier yourself, but the virtual wall is decorative and small. If you need more than 3 or more virtual barriers, I think directly buying a high-end iRobot with the mapping features will be wiser. When the switch is in the down position, the device creates protective zoom that Roomba will not enter. This prevents Roomba from bumping into items you want to protect, for example dog bowl or vase or crossing into undesired areas, for example corner or under a desk. The hollow is invisible and reaches approximately 24 inch 60 cm from the center of the device. When the switch is in the up position, the device functions as a virtual wall. This means that you can set it the block opening up to 10 feet. It creates an invisible cone-shaped barrier that only Roomba can see. On this mode, this barrier gets wider as it gets further from the device. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.